Ezekiel Mo, thank you for joining us today. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Okay, well, you had a particularly good season uh, in the Belgian league, not as good as the previous season, but it was really, really good for Standard Liège and yourself as well. Um, how would you rate um, your your professional performances and Standard Liège's performances in the past season? Uh, for me, my previous season was the best than this one, but you know, second season is always difficult, you know, to play like that. But I still thank God uh, at least. I scored a couple of goals and it was also good, but not top, but also good. But for the team, also for standard, it was good season for us because we ended second and we qualified for Champions League, so it was good season for the team. You, your, your strike partner, uh, Michi Bashwai, was uh, the, make, the major focal point of, of the team this year. Uh, he scored more goals than you did than you did in the previous year. Is there like a kind of rivalry or competition between you and Michi? Uh, it's not it's not uh, like a rival but you know we are teammates and the last season i was the top you know i was the top scorer of the team so this year i think he worked hard you know to be the top scorer so but it's good for him and it's good for the team you know and all for me also it's good also you know so it's not any rival anything you you missed out very 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 closely on the ebony uh, award for the best african player in belgium um that must have hurt a little uh for me yes it hurt a little, but you know, I was there last year and I was also this year again. So I was thinking maybe I could, you know, win it this year. But unfortunately, my teammates <laughs> but I took it for me. But it was fun to be there, you know. But just keep working out and hope for the next one. Well, um, last season was also the first time you made your debut for Nigeria. Before then, you had never played at any level for Nigeria, but you finally made your debut for the Super Eagles proper. Would you say that was the highlight of your career so far? Yeah, for me, that was the biggest stage of my career because, you know, to play in a national team is not, especially Super Eagles, it's not something that is very easy because we have a lot of mature, experienced players everywhere in the world. So, for me, it was like, you know, it was like a dream come true. So, and it was, it was good to be there and I feel very happy to be there. There are plenty of rumours that the Belgian FA was actually seriously considering nationalizing you and uh, so that you could have been playing for the Red Devils at, for, at the World Cup right now. Is there any truth in that? Uh, I would say there's a little bit true and not really true, you know, but it was like stuff like that. It was something that we tried to, you know, to maneuver to be like quickly. But actually, normally, um, it's something you have to wait three years to before you can proceed anything like that. But, you know something like as a sport like this they they want to do something but it was a bit difficult but at the end i choose nigeria <laughs> well you're one of the few players who never played in the nigerian premier league before moving out into europe um and you played for 36 lions what was the experience like playing for 36 lions and how did the move to europe come about yeah for me that this line was like a club line, like a one-man club you know in lagos here so they play amateur one so then I joined them playing the amateur one, you know. So we played two seasons in the amateur one, then we got promotion to the second division, that is Pro League. So that Pro League, we, we had a very good season. We were very young, it was a very young team. So we had a very good season, and I, that season I scored a couple of goals, a lot of goals, you know. 24, actually. Yeah, a lot of goals in that Pro League, and that is how. So then I began to have some offer in the first division, like Aqua, Bayesa, stuff like that, you know. To go so me i was even excited that ah, i'm gonna leave finally i'm gonna leave the pro league and go to the premier so but i was thinking this and something big was on my way you know so that is where i, I went to belgium so your partner in uh, your strike partner at uh, at the six lines in popola is now in uh, the french f first division with fc Metz. um what is your relationship with, with with him and how was your partnership like back then uh, it's like he's like my brother because we sleep together we wake up together so we do everything like we play together so, for me, it's not a new person to me. It's somebody that's very close to me. He's even around now, so we even met a couple of days together. So, for me, it's like a brother. Is there any chance that you might be joining him in the French championnat? Uh, I can't say that, but I hope so. But I can't say that. Do you have any regrets about choosing Nigeria over Belgium? No. It's always nice to play for Nigeria, and it's my country. So, if I play for Belgium, I, even though I play for Belgium, I will still come back to Nigeria. So, for, for me, to play for Nigeria is the best. We are also hearing that there are plenty of plenty of people watching you now all over Europe. There's offers from Italy, offers from Germany. I think another offer from uh, from, from Turkey as well. They are all rumors. But what is the truth? Will you be spending this season with the next season with Standard Liège, or you are looking at greener pastures? 
Ah, for me, I think I think I'm going to spend the next this season, the next season with Standard Liège because because I'm th I think um, Batshuayi is going to is going to leave, you know. So for me, so if Batshuayi leave, I can't leave. So one person has to leave for one. So I think I'm going to stay. Okay. Well, but left to you, if if you could make any choice, any league in the world, what is your dream league that you'd like to play? Premiership. Premiership. The English Premiership. Okay. Do, is it, do you have a specific club that you like to play? Yeah. Chelsea. <laughs> okay, uh, finally, uh, Imo, uh, the Super Eagles will be playing at their fifth World Cup. Unfortunately, you are not there. Um, if you could give Stephen Keshi and your teammates a message, what would it be? Uh, for me, I would just. They are all mature and experienced players, you know, like they both the coach. Me, I'm just like a little boy to them. So I would just wish them all the best and uh, I know they're going to do it. Okay. What message do you have for all the Imo Ezekiel fans out there? Uh, for me, I I want to say a very big thank you to all my fans, you know, because without them, I'm nobody, you know. They are the people that promote me and the people that give me more courage to play. So I want to say a very big thank you to all my fans. Imo Ezekiel, thank you so much for talking to You're us. You're welcome. My name is Imo Ezekiel. I play for Standard Liège in Belgium and Nigeria International. Keep watching Complete Sport YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.